Hi everyone, this is Ginger from the Mournville Community Library and I'm going to be doing story time with you this summer along with Alia. Uh, hopefully we'll get outside a lot if the weather is good and if not then we'll be recording it. Uh, but right now I'm going to show you how to make the craft for the last week of June and the craft is a tent. So in your little kit you will have a, piece, a shape that looks a bit like a tent and a piece of white paper. So the first thing to do is to notice that your shape has a cut in the middle of it and what you're wa going to want to do is fold back like this a triangle shape from your cut on both sides. So I'm doing it facing you like this. The easiest way is probably putting it right down on your table like that and giving it a nice sharp crease like that. And so now when we glue it onto the paper, it actually looks like a tent with the doors open. So here's the paper, here's the tent. You can glue your tent onto your paper anywhere you like. The reason we have a tent is because some of the stories we're going to be reading are about camping. And even if you don't have a tent, I don't anymore, um, you can create your own tent in your backyard or your basement with blankets and sort of like a little fort. Um, I used to read stories to my son in the tent in the backyard, so it's not like you have to go to a lake, but maybe you like to camp at lakes or in the mountains or in your backyard, or I don't know where you like to camp, but that's what you're going to draw as the scenery that goes around your tent. So the next step then is you need glue. And when you use construction paper, it is best to use white glue because glue sticks don't hold it long enough and it, your, paper, your tent will fall off your paper and who would want that? So my way of doing this is putting little dots of glue like that around the edge. Make sure you're doing it on the back side of your tent and the flaps are actually opening on the right side. So I'm putting my tent in the side of my paper. You can have a look like that. And I'll turn it around so you can actually see it. And I've, you know, folded back my thing there. So in this part here, you're going to draw a picture of you or your pet or your mom or dad, somebody you want to be inside that tent. I'm going to try to draw a picture of me reading a book. Huh? We'll see how that works out. So I'm getting a crayon to do it. I'm going to draw a stick person. I like blue, so my person's going to be blue. And it's me, so the, the hair is sort of curly and gray. And I should be showing you this. So let's have a look like that. This is, I'm new to doing this. I haven't done this very much yet on video. So here is a head with some hair. And here is the stick person with arms holding on to a book. Looks like that. Then the person needs to be sitting down. So I'm giving that person who's me cross legs. Eyes are a good thing. A mouth is a good thing. Add to the hair. And now I have a person. I'll hold it up so you can see it better. And there she is. It's me reading a book inside a tent. The next part involves deciding where you want your tent to be. You could even put it in Hawaii and have palm trees if you want it. First, I'm going to draw for mine some grass. So I like to make little things like this when I'm showing grass. So there's grass in my picture and I want my tent to be close to a beach or a lake at least. So next I'm going to draw a blue lake here. And then I'm going to color it in fast like that. And you can take as much time deciding on where your tent will be as you like. 
because it's yours. So here we have the tent and the lake and the grass so far. And we were just talking about maybe a good idea might be put the sun in the picture. So I think that that would be a good idea and I'm going to do it right now. So I'm putting the sun in my picture. Most people like to make suns with a big circle. I should be showing you what I'm doing. There it is, there's my circle. Now I'm going to stick some rays out of there. And now I have a sun and maybe I need some mountains in the background. So we'll draw some of those. A little snow on the top of them. Color them in. I like to color right up to my lake almost. You could do it however you want. Uh, and I'll be very interested to see what where you put your tent and I hope you send us some pictures of your tent. You can even draw on the tent so, for example, I like birds, so I'm going to put a bird on my tent right there. I guess I should show you what I'm doing. Here we go. So, here comes the bird. This is not dark enough for me. I need a really dark shape there. Oh, dark. It's a green bird. Okay. So, you get some wings. He gets another wing, he gets a tail, and he probably needs something that would help him have an eye so we could see and he could see. So we'll stick an eye there. And so that we know he's a bird, I'm going to open his mouth a bit. There. He's kind of a funny looking bird, but he's a fun bird. And you can do whatever you want. I think I might even put the sun on the other side because I do like the sun. So on this side I'm putting a sun on my tent. And of course because you know I love books, I'll put a book right on the top. So I make books kind of like that with a bunch of pages and a back to them and there we have a book. So it's a reading tent. I have a book I have a sun, I have a bird, I have a lake, I have me reading the book inside the tent, and the sun is shining, and if you look really close, you might be able to see mountains in the background. They're not very bright. I think I'll make them a little darker so you can actually see where they are. And that's my picture with my tent. So, as I said, I hope you make a really good one. I'm looking forward to seeing it. And of course, we're all looking forward to seeing each other at Summer Storytime on Thursdays at the usual time, which is 1030, I think. Uh, yes. Anyway, we will see you soon. <laughs> Bye for now.